yeah, and then we... <laughs> that hurt. And then we are done. I still love you, Chalk. You're my best friend. I'm using you all the time. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. This is actually my first time where this thing right here has been first published on my math blog. Check it out. I'm going to post more stuff soon. I've been quite busy those last few days. And after that, I'm posting it on YouTube. So it's like a little crossover of Papa Flemmy's Mathable blog and Papa Flemmy's YouTube channel. If I'm out of breath, if I happen to be out of breath, it's just because of my appendix. It was trying to kill me those last few days and it still hurts abysmally. So um, this thing right here, I don't have to get an operation or anything. I'm okay for now, but I have to take a look at this absolute dumb fuck right here, this appendix. Also, I had the worst headaches ever those last few days. So those last few days were absolute trash. But never mind, um, I'm feeling kind of okay to make a video, so that's why I'm making a video. Okay, we are going to deal with this right now. And at first I would like to introduce a little substitution, for example, that t be equal to this denominator right here. We have to substitute for tau later on, so why not solve for tau? That's equivalent to saying that tau is nothing but t plus one. Also, we have to differentiate this right here, get our differentials. dt is nothing but, okay, negative one, it's just a constant, it's going to vanish. So that's equal to d tau. So we can rewrite this as an integral running from. We have to change the up and lower bounds respectively, meaning if we plug zero into our tau, we are going to get negative one. If we plug one into our tau, we are going to get zero. Now, we have natural log of tau, which is nothing but t plus one over our substituted variable t integrated with respect to t. We have already derived the Taylor series expansion for the natural log right here of t plus one. I did this on Friday, but I want to do it again, just simply, um, yeah, as a little refresher for you guys, because th this thing is way easier to integrate if we just have the Taylor series expansion. And the good thing is we are still in our radius of convergence on this interval right here, so it does work out quite nicely. So as a little reminder, I would like to take a look at this certain integral. The integral of one over one plus t, because if you substitute one plus t as just u, then you are going to get natural log of u, and this is nothing but natural log of one plus t. If you don't want any constant in any way, what you can do, you can integrate this from zero to x, and get the natural log of one plus x out of here. Otherwise, you just have to take a look if it works out with this variable in the end, this constant. Never mind, we are just going to ignore it. Let us take a look at this thing right here. And well, one over one plus t looks an awful lot like our geometric series, but with the wrong sign right here. So that's not good, but we can express plus as nothing but negative times negative one. So that's something that works out in fields quite nicely. I actually did a proof on that in Papa Flemmy's advent calendar. So we can express this integrand as nothing but, well, um, one over one minus negative t. Okay, and with that out of the way, if our negative t is between negative one and one, we can actually turn this into the geometric series right here. So we are going to get an integral of a sum running from, let's say, k equals to zero to infinity of, well, this is going to give us negative t to the kth power integrated with respect to t. <clears throat> now it's a matter of the dominated convergence theorem or Papa Fubini. Papa Fubini isn't really strong enough to let us interchange this summation and this integral right here because for this it would need to be strictly positive. You can go for uniform convergence, for example, it would work out. I did it using the dominated convergence theorem. I found a little uh, dominator and then it worked out quite nicely. Take a look at my blog. I've written it in a bit more detail. It does work out. Let us interchange summation and this integral right here. Also, negative one to the kth power is a constant. Let's just bring it to the outside. We're going to get 
sum running from k equals to zero to infinity of negative one to the kth power times the integral of t to the kth power integrated with respect to t. Okay, like I said, I'm easily out of breath those last few days. Integrating t to the kth power is actually quite easy. That's going to vary to one over k plus one to, uh, times t to the k plus one power. And yeah, then we are done. So this overall, so this chunk right here, is our Taylor series expansion for our natural log of one plus t. Now we can plug this chunk into here and see what we get. We're going to get an integral running from negative one to zero of, okay, now we have one over t times the sum running from k equals to zero to infinity. And I'm not going to do a change of index. It really doesn't quite matter right here at the moment. Then we have negative one to the kth power over k plus one times t to the k plus one power integrated with respect to t. The really cool thing is one over t is independent of k. You can bring this t to the first power to the outside or you can just cancel those out. That's just what I wanted to get at. So you can cancel out this t and this one over t. Now, once again, it's a matter of dominated convergence theorem right here. It's left as a little exercise to the viewer to figure it out why we can interchange this infinite summation and this integral right here. Also, we are going to bring this stuff to the outside because it's just a constant when it comes to integrating with respect to t. We are going to get sum running from zero to infinity, negative one to the kth power over k plus one times an integral running from negative one to zero of t to the kth power integrated with respect to t. We know how to integrate this. We have done it before. <laughs> so this right here is nothing but um, one over k plus one t to the k plus one power. Okay, last thing to do is, well, to bring this one over k plus one and this together to get, well, one over k plus one squared. And also, we have to apply our upper and lower bounds. So from negative one to zero. If we plug zero into here, that's just a polynomial. This chunk is going to vanish. Then we have the second part, negative, this part right here. Okay, let's write everything out. We're going to get the sum running from kx to zero to infinity of negative one to the kth power over k plus one squared. And then we are going to get um, Okay, um, I'm going to write everything out. We have the second part of integration, negative, and then we are going to have negative one to the k plus one power. Okay, this is what we have. Negative one to the k plus one power is negative one to the k power times negative one. So this and this negative is going to cancel out. Also, we are going to get negative one to the 2k power, but if we have negative one to an even power, it's always going to vary to positive one. So this right here is actually just a positive one. And overall, we are going to get a sum running from zero to infinity of one over k plus one squared. What exactly is this? Well, it might not seem too familiar at first sight, but why not say that k plus one is now nothing but, um, let's choose something nice. Um, let's use a little sigma. Okay, k plus one is nothing but sigma. So now our sum is going to run from, okay, from k equals to zero, if you plug zero into here, our sigma is going to run from one. So we have big sigma of um, sigma running from one to infinity of one over sigma squared. And well, I've derived this before. This right here is nothing but the basal problem. So overall, this is going to give us pi squared over six. Yeah, and then we... <laughs> that hurt. And then we are done. I still love you, Chalk. You're my best friend. I'm using you all the time. It, ju it just happens too often. I want to place it somewhere here gently, not even throwing it somewhere. I just want to place it somewhere gently and it just doesn't work out. Maybe I've approximated um, the trajectory. <sighs> not too well. Yeah, I'm, I'm an engineer, you see. I've approximated it in a bad way. Yeah, and this is it. So uh, this integral actually has quite a surprising result. It really doesn't seem like much, but well, we are going to get pi squared over six and that's actually quite cool. 
If you do enjoy Papa's videos, please like and subscribe and recommend channel if you like. Don't forget to check out my website, Twitter, subreddit. If you want to support the channel a bit more by those t-shirts I created, they are actually quite okay, even though they are math t-shirts. And yeah, you can support the channel on Patreon or whatsoever. Whatever you do, I thank you guys for watching and up until the next video, have a flamble day, I guess. See ya. Love you guys. Appreciate ya.